Alright, so you just think working, okay, focus on. Alright. Hello guys, so welcome to another MFC tutorial. Today we are going to show you on how to use the MFC Cyclone Air Pump. <laughs> Too late. Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another MFC tutorial video and today we are going to show you on how to use the MFC Cyclone Air Pump. Alright, so once you get the box, you can just take a pen knife and just cut the tape open. Use this flap to pull everything out. Let's go through it one by one, alright? So this is the plastic there, it's filled with a charging cable, alright? And also the different pins that you're gonna use. We're gonna show you how, how to use this later on. Following one is the main product, which is the MFC Cyclone Air Pump. Instruction manual. Uh, please do not lose this thing. It's very important. Uh, it's essential to refer back. All right. So then the last one will be the pouch. You can just put this in and bring wherever you go. All right. It's very convenient. All right. So moving on. So the very first thing that you want to search for when you get this product, firstly you have to find the switch on button, which is uh, directly in the middle. This is like an if it reminds me of an iPod actually. Uh, the old iPod uh, so you can just press this button in the middle all right when you're on it and that's the battery life so it's actually pre-charged uh, when you get the item so if you want if you really need to just plug in straight away to your tire and just start pumping when you get this item is possible all right so after this uh, battery life is gonna bring you to the uh, PSI or this is the default screen actually now it's, uh, we're gonna show you what the different buttons do here but the first one on my left here is the light button basically so when I press it Okay, nothing shows right but if you open the tube here yeah, it's gonna show you the light so this is actually the assist light if your tire punch it in the middle of a poorly lit area you can just you know, use this light and start to pump your tire another function of this button right here you can just press and hold okay and you're gonna on the main light so this is the main light you can see how it lights up it's quite bright behind me Right. If you press it one more time, it's the flashing uh, mode. Right. And one more time, it's the SOS mode. To off this, just press and hold, and it's off. So moving on, we're gonna talk on the button on my right, which is the preset button. When you press it once, it's gonna bring you to the preset for the car, the motorcycle. If you can see the icon, I'm sure you can see that. And followed by the bicycle. And followed by the ball. All right, so it's gonna show you the PSI that is recommended for these items. But then again, it's best to check the PSI levels that is according to your actual item. Bar. So moving on, we are going to talk about the up and down button. Okay, basically when you're back at your default screen, you can set to the desired PSI level. Okay, this thing actually goes all the way to 150. It's currently right now is at 142. If you can press it all the way up. And I believe it's at 150 and press it down it's gonna reduce all right before you connect this to the tire or your uh, or whatever that you know pump use the button first to set it all right okay check it out yeah you connect it to your wire and then just press in the, in the center and you're gonna vibrate like a mad person it's very loud I'm not sure you can even hear me all right so to stop it just press it the button again and that's how you use the pump basically all right now moving on to the plastic bag that we had just now this is actually the charging cable for the cyclone air pump the two charging ports can be found directly below the uh, cyclone air pump basically you uh, connect the micro usb into the cyclone air pump and then it will charge right why cannot connect okay all right okay so moving on we have the three pins that is needed to pump your various uh, items these are the different pins that you can use let me show you pin it in all right just screw this thing inside and voila all right so then just you know okay, just stick it into your tire or your ball or press the touch ball you can use the adapter provided to pump the tire This sounds a bit itchy because you'll have to turn the entire pump along with the adapter around to screw it in. Similarly, once done, 
unscrew the valve by turning the pump along with the adapter as well. So moving on, this thing also acts as the portable charger. You can just take your charging cable, alright, put it inside the USB port, and you take your phone, and then you on it. Press and hold. And there you go, it's charging, right? Alright, so to take note, uh, while you are charging, you cannot use this thing to pump, alright? It's not, uh, you cannot do it simultaneously, so you can only use one feature at a time. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna go back to uh, pumping your tires, let's take it out, alright? Off this, so once it's off, you're on, so, so once it's on, so you cannot charge and pump at the same time, alright? So that's something to take note of. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys today. Please subscribe, like and share this video and we're gonna see you on the next tutorial.